Super Mario Logan is a channel created all the way back in 2007 and at this point in time has nearly 6 million subscribers. He still manages to rake in millions of views a day with his popular series, Super Mario Logan, where he acts out very funny scenarios with plush toys like Mario, Bowser Jr, Black, Black Yoshi, and... Ugh. Let's just say I've never been the biggest fan of SML, in fact, I'm quite the opposite. My first encounter with this channel was a few years ago where I saw a video titled SML Movie, The Hitman. I don't know what exactly compelled me to click on this, but I heard about his channel before and wanted to see what it was all about. I couldn't even finish the thing. I got to this point and turned it off. There. There's only one toy! Well, Jeffy, well, it doesn't matter. You don't need 20 toys. That's ridiculous. You eat your chicken nuggets. Daddy? I'm not gonna eat it. Jeffy, eat your damn chicken nuggets! Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy. I don't know why people love this character so much, because I cannot fucking stand him. But whatever, I'll talk about this later. I don't think his entire channel is terrible. I watched a couple of his videos that were okay. It's completely predictable and unfunny, but whatever, it's alright, and I know Logan has a ton of fans, some surprisingly above the age of 7, but for me at least, I think most of his content is unbearable, and it's always been. People say that SML is terrible now, but oh, it used to be so good! So let's just look at how good these old videos are. After looking around, it seems like people have different ideas of when the SML golden age was, so I'll be generous and say it was from around 2007 to 2014. So those are the videos that I'll be focusing on. But the one thing I've been consistently hearing is that it went to shit on January 24th, 2016. Hmm. I wonder what could have happened on that specific date. Do the Mario swing your arm. Nothing in a theater, alone at the show. It's so fun to rip it hard, whether on my bike or in my car. Feels so great to flatulate, it's fun to let out a fart. Wow, that, 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 that's just amazing. Okay, Luigi, we have to go and uh, save the princess, okay? Okay, gotta go crap. It's, it's awful. This is the sort of stuff I can imagine my six-year-old cousin watching. But that's not an excuse. I don't care if it's for kids. It's still fucking terrible. But he himself is clearly still pretty young at this point. It just looks like two friends doing stupid stuff to make each other laugh. So let's skip a little and start looking at the videos with the title SML. Why? Because I'm, I'm gonna burn it. Don't burn it, Luigi. Fine, I'll hide it. And if you find it, I'll let you watch it. Again, I think it's awful, but I kind of see why someone would like it. It does sort of have the charm of two kids just playing with plushies. It feels like Logan and his friends just decided to start filming one day while they were playing. Get back here! Get back here! I need to hide something! <laughs> <laughs> and I know that I'm criticizing something made by two very young children, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I don't know if it's just nostalgia or if the people watching these are just as young as Logan when he made them, because I cannot fucking stand these. So Luigi's Secret. I've been noticing that lots of Logan's jokes are really drawn out, even though they weren't funny to begin with. This video in particular is six minutes long, and four and a half of it is filler. He spends one and a half of it just showing Luigi trying to pick a hiding spot, and the payoff for it all is just terrible. Oh, it's just Luigi singing a Beyonce song, and it goes on for nearly three minutes. Hilarious. Let's just start to skip ahead a bit. Uh Looks like your new home is hot and ready. Oh, there you go, little buddy. Oh, can't wait till you get done. First thing I notice with this one is that the quality is much higher. And by quality, I mean just the camera. It's still fucking unbearable. My son is hungry! Dad, I'm not, I'm not that Do you see him? Look, he, he looks thin! I'm not that I'm fat, It's Dad. okay, my precious angel. It's just a bunch of shouting, and the writing is much worse, despite the fact that it's clearly unscripted, unlike the old ones where it seems like they just had a loose outline of a plot and did some improv. Like, one minute Bowser Jr. is saying he doesn't want something to eat, the next minute he's demanding this chef, no, I'm not saying his name, to make him something. Son is hungry! Dad, I'm not, I'm not that you see? No, my dad said you had to cook whatever I want, so maybe something to eat! This video also didn't need to be 16 minutes long. There is so much filler that the only way I can watch this is by shutting my brain off and blankly staring at the screen. It's so vapid. Come on! 
on, it's time to go do the mark. So now we're here, January 24th, 2016. And what special event happened on this date, you may ask? Well, it was the birth of Logan's most popular character, Jeffy. Jeffy is annoying. That is his character. Purposefully annoying characters can work. With that being said, Jeffy does not work. The most I can get out of this character is a mild chuckle every now and again. After seeing how much people like Jeffy, Logan pretty much demoted half his cast to background characters and for a few years has been sticking to only a select few, with others returning only every once in a while. Even though Jeffy started as a terrible character, Logan found a way to make him even worse. So just be on your best behaviour. It seems like over time he got lazier and lazier, his videos are incredibly predictable and unfunny, he loves to fill them with stereotypes, and it feels like he's making these videos more out of an obligation than a passion. I'm not saying that the old videos are good, it just means they're... not as bad. With the older ones I can at least see some interesting ideas and I can somewhat see why people would have liked him to begin with, but it looks like he can do anything now and people will still watch. And I think Logan is aware of this, that he's at a point where he knows he can just shit out these videos with little to no effort and still get millions of views. And that brings us to the present. But I still have some things to talk about. One step, and then again let so Logan has some other channels too, being Super Luigi Logan and Super Bowser Logan. I have no problems with a YouTuber having multiple channels, it allows them to make different styles of content and gives the viewer more of that person to watch. But if you're going to have a second channel, make sure that you aren't uploading the exact same content that you upload to your main channel. His Super Bowser Logan channel is fine, he plays games on it oh, he stopped uploading. His Super Luigi Logan channel though, he literally reacts to his own videos. Not only that, but he also uploads the videos that are on his main channel. Why? Oh, uh, that's actually because he got his ads taken away from his main channel, so he has to upload them there to get ad revenue. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Who are you? Oh. I'm Mark. No, I'm Mark. But yes, Logan got the ads taken away from his main channel, so he uploads the exact same videos to two different channels just so he can make ad revenue. But why did he get the ads taken away from his main channel, I hear you cry? I'll talk about that in a little bit. His girlfriend also has her own channel that mainly revolves around Logan. This channel is mostly clickbait vlogs, but whatever, I don't care. He also does a lot of complaining on this channel about how his channels are getting demonetized and that he wants to quit and it's just a bunch of whinging. He likes to deflect any criticism by claiming the people who don't like some of his videos aren't true fans. So listen up kids out there watching Super Mario Logan, if you don't love every single thing this man does then he doesn't think of you as a true fan. Don't you even think about giving him any sort of constructive criticism. So Logan got the ads taken away from his main channel and is getting his fans to have an outrage about this. Even though the reason his ads were removed it was completely justifiable. The animals has adult themes and he puts nooses around the stuffed animals necks all right so of course he's gonna get demonetized and then he uploads a video saying why well i don't understand how my videos are not family friendly well because you're playing with stuffed animals which is attracting a a, a young demographic of kids to watch your content and then you have adult themes wasn't there just a big scandal all over youtube about how these channels Channels were like making like cartoon type stuff that was inappropriate for kids and YouTube was like getting rid of them and closing them down. He's lucky he still has a channel. Basically a boy tried to tie a noose around their neck from one of SML's videos because they saw Jeffy do it. What a fucking world we live in. His channel appeared on Good Morning America which I assume is just some news station in America but his response to this was awful. Rated for ages 17 and up, these kids are all 13 and younger. Logan, this is your audience. Whether you like that or not, it's something you should be more aware of. With that being said, the kids' reasoning for watching it was complete shit too. It attracts kids because you don't, you wouldn't think of him as inappropriate because the way he looks. But when you actually watch him, he traps you in it. No, he does not trap you in. Nobody's forcing you to watch these videos. Did it, oh, oh, what's this? 
This looks interesting. Oh man, I love playing Fortnite. <laughs> oh, it's cancer. Well, whatever. I'll just go on. What? What the? No, mustn't click. No, please. No, stop trapping me, Logan. Please. Ah, fuck. No. This is just the kids trying to take the blame off of them. People said that you should blame the parents for not monitoring them, but it's really not that simple. A parent can't be dangling over their kid's shoulder 24-7. There has to be some amount of trust put into the kid not to click on this kind of stuff. Good morning, America's about to destroy you. I know. Why waste their fucking time? Logan, a boy nearly killed himself because of you. But of course he has to send his hordes of fans to try to get his ads back. The comments on this channel is just the worst. Screw Good Morning America. Kids cuss more than what Jeffy does. Just as much, but Jeffy has a more creative and unique vocabulary. Jeffy's the best. I'm 11 and I love you guys. First YouTube and now Good Morning America. Why? SML is my life. Hashtag save SML. Yeah, because that's definitely going to work. None of this is happening to Jake or Logan Paul. Wow. What do you mean? Where were you last year? Oh yeah, you weren't old enough to use your mum's iPad last year, sorry, I forgot. I think YouTube preventing Logan from having ads on his channel was a reasonable thing for them to do after this. And now he's selling his own Jaffy puppet, so now there's an army of children making SML videos. Cool. In the end, Super Mario Logan is going to find a way to keep making videos and his mindless fans will continue to watch until they become too old and then there will be a new batch of mindless kids to laugh at his shit. And really, there's nothing we can do about it.